Hello and welcome to Infinity. Okay, so what's Voronoi's? Uh, I'll get hands up. It's a word I just made up. You could even call it a neologism. Uh, Voronoi is a combination of Voronoi and noise. Voronoi filter appears in two places. It's in the live filters down here at the bottom there, but we don't want that one. We're going to just go up here to the filters here, colors, and the one up here, which is actually destructive, but we want that because we want it to be fixed. I'll do it first of all on this image just to show you, and you can see it kind of like turns any image into like a church window. And you can open up the, the cell size here, and you can change the line width and make it quite kind of interesting. So in itself, it's an interesting sort of art thing. I'm going to cancel it there because I'm not going to use it on that layer. I'm going to put in a add pixel layer over here. I'm going to fill it up with white. So I go to the flood fill tool. I got white selected over there. So I just click on this. And now when I apply the Voronoi filter, so I go to filters, colors, Voronoi, it's got no colors to, to mix up here. So it just does it on white. This is where it kind of gets interesting. Because I did this and I thought, well, what do I play with it? And it's amazing. If you play with stuff, you can find all sorts. So you can make the cell size sort of really big and have an interesting pattern. And you can use this in itself. But what if you go down small? When you go down really, really small, let's zoom into this. You got this out of like a digital maze or something. It's quite an interesting effect. And if I change the line width, zero it just disappears but as i go up it effectively increases the contrast within this so you can put it somewhere wherever you like i'm just going to apply this here to this layer let's control zero to go out and i've already got a kind of noise if i pick the move tool up here and control roll the mouse wheel down so i can make this pretty tiny drag this out so it's really big Where's that gone? There it is. Now do a control zero to go back in again. Now I've got a much more visible version of this. And what this means, I can then do, well, I can sort of play around with this uh, again and do things with it. So one of the things I could do, for example, is I go to the flood fill tool. If I click on the kind of the gray area, it sort of, it likes like follows the maze all the way around. I've got contiguous uh, checked up there. And there are some areas it misses out. I can have a go here and it'll do a bit of that. And if I control zero to go up again, there you go. I can play around with these things here. And you've got yourself another form of noise. So if I go out to here again, another thing I can do with this is if I go to a Gaussian blur and I turn up the radius on this, I get a sort of smudgy pattern which can be great for working with textures as well. So I'm going to delete this. And then I can also go onto here and look down on here and look at the sort of thing it does. What does it do in terms of blending in this? And you, so you can play with the blend modes, go all the way down, play things, and you can even get to something like, look at that contrast negate. Well, that's, that's an almost an abstract half picture there. Um, you see the reflect is, is interesting. So even the, those ones that you never use very often, you can put that in as well. And you can always go back to this one here. Go all the way out here to play with this. If you want to change the size of this, you can, of those little things, you can make that bigger and smaller so that the maze gets bigger and smaller. And if you want to chop off all this here, if you go to layer, and rasterize and trim, it snips that down so you've just got the original picture here again. So anyway, there we go, Voronoi's and a bunch of things that you can do with it. Thank you very much for watching.